Well, it is absolutely no surprise that there are a lot of great restaurants around the state, and Arizona Highways Magazine has found the best ones, the best of the best, if you will. The April issue features 25 locations that you're going to want to make part of your next road trip for sure. They have been tried, they have been tested, and editor in chief. Um, Robert, <laughs> <laughs> I had a mind lapse it's that right green there. green dress, you know, know it's all the I green. Know. <laughs> you leave it out of the prompter and I forget your name. Uh, so Robert Steve is here to share uh, a few of these great finds for us. How mm -hmm. you doing? Great, good, thanks How for having me. How are the babies? The, the babies are doing great. Are they sleeping through the night? Uh, making to about four or five. So okay, so now closer. you're getting a little bit more rested. Yeah, you, I'm know, glad that, you know, getting four hours in one shot is the most decadent thing on earth. Oh, so. <laughs> trust me, I know, I know. Eight months into it, I know. Let's refocus here and talk specifically about some of these, um, some of these restaurants and why you decided to go and find these little gems? Well, you know, with, with Arizona Highways, our mission is to promote travel around the state. And we, we spend a lot of time talking about places like the Grand Canyon, Sedona, Tucson, and, and it's great to see the natural landmarks that are out there. But, you know, you need to eat when you're out on the road, too. So part of our equation, we believe, is telling people where to eat and where to sleep as well. So well, I think it's a perfect marriage because when you think about it, the Travel Channel, uh -huh. it makes big business oh, of doing absolutely. this. They send people all over the globe absolutely. and they find the cool foods. Yeah, and you know, when you, if you're not familiar with a town, you know, a lot of people sort of defer to fast food because it's they don't... It's McDonald's all the way. They don't want to experiment. Right. They don't know that, hey, this place that might look a little bit... You know, dodgy from the outside actually is this great dive restaurant with amazing food. Well, let's jump right in. And your first pick was pick was Matt's Big Breakfast. Is that right? Uh, Matt's Big Breakfast, right? Yeah, and, and they're spread out around Where is this. That? That's right here in Phoenix. Oh, that's okay. right down on uh, First. Uh, that's a long first road trip. Street. Yeah, it's not far <laughs> from here. And we, the majority of the restaurants are set up around the state. Uh, Matt's, of course, <laughs> is right here in, in Phoenix. <coughs> Pardon um, me. Uh, very, very popular restaurant, uh, amazing food. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what's in the recipes, but there has to be a lot of butter because nothing can taste that good without <laughs> some, some good old-fashioned home cooking. But Matt's is always packed, and it's a great place. And, and again, we have a couple places here in the valley, but the majority of them are out on the road. Um, this is a place called uh, Sc a Screaming Banshee Pizza, which is down in Bisbee, Arizona, down at the far southern end of the state. Um, again, That's a lot an of interesting name, Screaming Banshee Pizza. Yeah. And, and I don't recall off the top of my head if that, there's an explanation for the name in our in our piece, but uh, we don't need an explanation if it's good food. The pizza's great, um, and 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 our writers loved it, and the photographers that went down came back with a lot of pizza to go. So very pretty um, picture. Too. You know, I again, love that's, the perspective. And that's and the, again, if you saw that, you might think, eh, I don't know if that's a place I'm necessarily it's willing true. to try. It's but true. Um, so we we sort of do the legwork for our readers. Um, let's talk um, about let, where are we going next, producer Kim? Tell me in my ear if you would. Oh, this is another one, I think, from the Valley. Okay. I think this is at Noka, which is at uh, Camelback in uh, 32nd Street. Great for your viewers here in the Valley. Um, uh, Noka, N-O-C-A, is short for north of Camelback. Oh, I um, like it. And so it's a very popular restaurant. Um, uh, a great place, a lot of good trendy food there. And yeah. let's go to the next one, too. And as we go to the next one, did you have any kind of criteria? Mm. That, I mean, because there's so many places right. out there. How'd you narrow it down? Well, that's an excellent question. I mean, what we're looking for, I mean, the, the trifecta is great ambiance, great food, and great service. Um, not necessarily every one of these restaurants hits all three, you know, with 100%, but most of them have a multiple of, of, those, of those criteria. So, you know, Rod's Steakhouse is a classic you're seeing here. This is up in Williams, Arizona. It's an old steakhouse that's been around for forever. Um, it's up on Route 66, uh, as that sign implies. There. <laughs> they actually ha they actually make a hamburger shaped like a uh, like a cow. So <laughs> like a yeah, it's got a cow shape, sort of like you know you get chicken nuggets like with different that shapes. Is they actually funny. have a burger shape that way. So if you've got kids, you know might be able to get them to eat the burger as well as the fries. Absolutely, absolutely. Now um, we saw another. One. Was that was that the same place? I believe that was. Um, you know what, off the top of You I have think, to get... I think that's Screaming Banshee as well. I think that's down in uh, southern Arizona. Well, I was just in because I saw the happy hour. I'm like, well, i got to make a road trip for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we talked about the ambiance, the service, and the delicious food. Mm -hmm. um, any bits of advice as, you know, you had your writers go out and in going to these places, you know, do we need to make a reservation for any of them? You know, do we? You know, with, with uh, actually, you know, with the economy, what it is, it's, it's not as hard to get into a lot of places, a lot of people staying home, but that's one of the great things about Arizona, and, and we think that, you know, our magazine helps steer people. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, it, with, you know, 
cost of travel being much higher instead of going to Disneyland, maybe you go get in the car and take a trip. Take to, a road trip, yeah. Go up to Williams and have a hamburger up at Rod Steakhouse or go to the White Mountains or wherever. Um, you know, and, and what we have in the magazine is 25 of our favorites. Uh, this is the third or fourth year we've been doing it. I bet it, I bet people keep this and then it's like their little Bible. It, it goes is. with their road maps. It, you know? It's exactly right. I've gotten all kinds of letters from people saying, you know, we're using it as an excuse to travel and they're checking them off yeah. as they go. Yeah, absolutely. Any um, sneaky peeks that you you can tell us for what you're planning for May? Uh, well, our May issue is actually a special issue that we're dedicating to Arizona State Parks. Uh, as you know, the state parks have really mm -hmm. been struggling to stay open, and so we're doing a special state parks issue with some, some amazing stuff in it that we think is going to help help their cause a little bit and, and sort of, again, inspire people to stay right here in Arizona and do their traveling. Fantastic. Can't wait for that one. Thanks, Doug. Um, we should also mention, too, that uh, if you're interested in Arizona Highway subscription, um, then you can check out our website. We will provide a link to yours. That's wonderful. Thank you. Um, and uh, th this particular April issue is on store shelves right now.